हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड स्मॉल सिग्नल ऑपरेटिंग मॉडल ऑफ मॉसफेट द मेन एम ऑफ स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल इज टू फाइंड ए सी करेंट एंड ए सी वोल्टेज सो लेट एस कंसिडर ए सर्क्यूट विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ बोथ ए सी सोर्स एज वेल एज डी सी सोर्स सो फ्रॉम द सर्क्यूट वी कैन राइट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ वोल्टेजेस विच इज वी जी एस विच इज ए सी वोल्टेज वी जी एस इन कैपिटल लेटर इज डी सी वोल्टेज एंड स्मॉल वी कैपिटल जी एस इज टोटल वोल्टेज हेयर वी कैन राइट टोटल वोल्टेज विल बी इक्वल टू डी सी वोल्टेज प्लस ए सी वोल्टेज Always, you need to remember the AC components are represented by small letters, and DC components are represented by capital letters. The total voltage is given by small v capital G S. So here, we can write V G S is equal to small V G S plus capital V G S. So total voltage will be equal to AC voltage plus DC voltage. let us call this as equation number 1 similarly we are having three types of currents small id which is ac current capital id which is dc current small i capital d which is total current here the total current will be equal to ac current plus dc current therefore we can write small i capital d which is total current will be equal to small i d plus capital i d so let us call this as equation number 2 we know the dc current can be given as i d is equal to 1 by 2 into k n w by l into v g s minus v t A whole square. Here, K n is the constant. W by L is the transistor aspect ratio, which is width by length. V G S is the gate to source voltage, which is DC voltage, and V T is the threshold voltage. Let us call this as equation number three. The total current can be given as small i capital D. that can be written as 1 by 2 kn w by l multiplied with total voltage vgs plus vgs in small letters minus vt whole square here we can apply the formula a plus b minus c whole square here we can take capital vgs as a small vgs as b and vt as c we can write a plus b minus c whole square as a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca since a and b are positive we'll get positive sign here so if we multiply a and b since c is negative that's why we'll get negative sign here since we are multiplying c with b so here c is negative we are taking square of c that's why we have written a positive sign here in the formula if we consider this equation as equation number 4 we can write equation 4 using above formula as id is equal to 1 by 2 kn w by l into vgs square plus vgs square in small letters plus vt square plus 2 vgs into vgs minus 2 vgs into vt minus 2 vt into vgs 
In this, we need to consider only the AC components. In the above expression, 2 VGS into VGS and 2 VGS into VT are AC components. That's why we will take only the AC components. The AC current can be given as 1 by 2 KN W by L into 2 VGS into VGS minus 2 VGS into VT. So we can write above expression as ID is equal to 1 by 2 KN W by L into if we take 2 VGS as common, it will be 2 VGS into VGS minus VT. So we can write the AC drain current will be equal to, if we cancel out these two, we can write KN W by L into VGS into VGS minus VT. So this is the expression for AC current in a small signal model of MOSFET. Now let us find the expression for transconductance and voltage gain. First let us see the transconductance. From this circuit we can say that VGS is the input voltage and ID is the output current. So if we write output divided by input we can write it as ID divided by VGS. Since we know output divided by input, we can call it as trans and current divided by voltage is inverse of resistance that is known as conductance. Hence, ID divided by VGS is known as a transconductance that can be given as GM. Therefore, we can write GM is equal to ID divided by VGS. For a small signal model, we can write ID is equal to KNW by L into VGS into VGS minus VT. So from this equation, if you write the ratio ID divided by VGS, we can write it as KN into W by L multiplied with VGS minus VT. We know ID divided by VGS is transconductance GM. Therefore, we can write GM is equal to KN multiplied by W by L into VG minus VT. So, this is another expression for a transconductance in a small signal model of MOSFET. Now, let us understand voltage gain. We know voltage gain can be written as output voltage divided by input voltage. From this circuit, VGS is the input voltage, VDS is the output voltage. Therefore, we can write voltage gain as AV is equal to VDS divided by VGS. We can write the above expression as AV is equal to VDS can be written as ID into RD divided by VGS. Since ID divided by VGS can be given as GM, we can write gain AV is equal to GM into RD. This is the expression for voltage gain. So this is the waveform for total input voltage where DC voltage is VGS and AC voltage is small VGS. So small V capital GS is total input voltage. So this is the waveform for the input voltage. So this is the waveform for output voltage. Here small V capital DS is the total output voltage. Here DC voltage is VDS and AC voltage is small VDS. So here as you can see compared to input voltage the output voltage is amplified. Now let us understand small signal equivalent model of MOSFET. To understand this let us consider the MOSFET with three terminals drain gate and source. 
So here source will be common between input and output. So to draw the small signal equivalent model, so let us take the gate, drain and source which is common between input and output. So this is gate terminal, this is drain terminal and this is the source terminal. Between gate and source, we are having the voltage VGS with polarity plus and minus. That's why we can write the voltage VGS between gate and source. There is a current flowing through the drain terminal which is ID. We know ID can be given as GM into VGS. So between drain and source terminal, we can connect a dependent current source which will be equal to gm into vgs here gm will be equal to id divided by vgs and gain av will be equal to gm into rd so this is the small signal model without the internal resistance r not we can write the same small signal model with internal resistance r not so this is the small signal model with internal resistance R0. So here R0 is internal resistance where we can write R0 is equal to V0 divided by ID. So this is the small signal model of MOSFET with internal resistance R0. So for this circuit if you want to write the voltage gain we can write it as GM into RD parallel with R0. So without internal resistance we can write gain as Gm into Rd. Internal resistance we can write gain as Gm into Rd parallel with R0. This is about small signal operating model of MOSFET. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.